Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends today I am discussing the very interesting topic that's unit conversion it's very important for every civil engineering student or for every civil engineer that's why because without unit unit conversion you are not able to complete your building construction that's why because for every civil engineering student it's important to know the full unit conversion because with unit conversion you can find the quantity of materials also the quantity of all project so this is the important thing in civil engineering unit conversion so i will discuss today about unit conversion let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video guys one inch so how many millimeters are present in one inch and centimeters so guys remember in one inch we have 25.4 millimeters and 2.54 centimeters okay now in one meter we have 39.3 inches and 1.09 yard right now one liter is equal 0.22 gallons but imperial gallons okay not us and one gallon imperial is equal 4.546 liters of water or any liquid right now one gallon us this is imperial now us gallon so one gallon is equal us gallon 3.785 liters so guys here is a best method by which you can do unit conversion so i will write here big and small okay guys if you want to go from big to small from big to small then you will multiply you will do multiplication from big to small we will multiply right for example from centimeters to meter then we will multiply okay now from small to big so here guys you will divide okay so this is the method by which you can do unit conversion for example guys in one meter we have 1000 millimeters okay now guys in three meters okay in three meters we have but we will multiply with 1000 okay so now we have 3000 millimeters okay for example from millimeter to centimeters okay centimeter is big and millimeter is small so what you will do there from millimeter to centimeters so you will divide the millimeter by centimeters and from centimeters to millimeter from big to small because centimeter is big millimeter is small so centimeters will be multiply then you can get millimeters from millimeters to centimeters then you will divide then you can do the unit conversion so this this formula you can apply from big to small okay from big to small so big multiply small okay now from small to big means from centimeters to meter then you will divide okay centimeters will be divide then you can get big number now guys one ton is equal 1000 kg one ton weight is is equal 1000 kg okay sometimes we say we need one ton of steel and two ton of steel so one ton and one ton we have 1000 kgs now in one liter we have 1000 ml but in one liter we have one kg because in one meter cube we have 1000 
liters 1000 liters so and one meter cube meter cube our cubic meter we have 1000 kg okay because one liter is is equal one liter is equal one kg so 1000 liters is equal 1000 kgs one meter cube our cubic meter is equal 1000 kg okay our liters because one liter is equal okay one liter is there, uh, there also i will show you okay one liter is equal one kg okay so it's okay i confused now guys in one feet we have 12 inches but in one feet we have also 30 centimeters okay in one yard we have three feet in one yard we have three feet but in one furlong we have 220 yards in one furlong and one mile distance we have eight furlongs and one furlong we have 220 yards and one mile we have eight furlongs now guys you can see furlong is big yard is small so by this method furlong is big yard is small so guys now i want to convert from furlong to yards so furlong is big so i am going to small small is yard so 8 multiply so 8 is furlong so 8 multiply you can see here 8 multiply 220 that's why because 220 is yards and one furlong okay by which you can get total fit in eight furlongs now in one kilometer we have 1000 meters but in one meter also we have 100 centimeters okay in one meter we have also 1000 millimeters in one meter we have 1000 millimeters guys you should remember these things if you don't know so you can download the charts you can search an internet because unit conversion is very important especially for civil engineers that's why because without unit conversion you can't find any quantity of materials any quantity of any plot any structure because it's very important for you without unit conversion you can't complete your project or construction okay so in one centimeters in, in one centimeter we have 10 millimeters that's why because in one meter uh, in one meter we have 100 centimeters okay so in one centimeter we have 10 millimeters okay this method you can apply by this now in one cubic feet we have 28.317 liters but in one cubic feet we have 0 0.028 cubic meter okay now guys in one and one cubic feet we have 6.24 gallons but imperial not us 6.24 in one cubic feet gallons but imperial but in one cubic feet we have 7.48 gallons us now guys come to area unit conversion and area conversion okay so this is one one acre is equal 43.56 square feet, right? And one acre we have 43.560 square feet, but in one acre we have also one acre. This is sorry, this is square meter. Okay, but in one acre we have 40.46.46 square meters. Now in one acre guys we have eight canals. In one canal we have 20 marlas. Okay? In one canal we have 20 marlas. Now in one marla we have 272 square feet. But in some regions there is 225 square feet. Okay? So you should ask that uh, in this region or in this city or in this uh, place uh, one marla is equal 225 square feet or 272 square feet so you should ask there okay otherwise you will face the problem in area calculation or in any project now one marla is equal 
15.50 square meters right but the important thing is this method by which you can get from small to big and from big to small in unit conversion guys so this is very useful for you people to know about unit conversion so there is nothing special but you should remember these things you should learn so it will help you in any project especially in civil engineering guys so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye